And uh, if everyone's ready, we'll start the meeting. It's the Moortown Select Board. It's Monday, July 19th. And it looks like we have a full board. We've got Sasha and Sherilyn and our friends from uh, Orca. Orca TV, of course. <laughs> I was thinking fish. Formerly Valley Stream. I said formerly Valley Stream. Oh, really? <laughs> as far as you know. Oh, I, well, I think that was, that's the other company that's more local to here. Oh, we were yeah. sometimes oh, okay. alternating with them. But now we get to see them full time. So it's good to see everyone. Smiling face. Um, does anyone have anything for public comment? Take off their sweatboard shoes and jump into the uh, just civilian and have any comments? Nothing. All right, so we'll go ahead and move on to the agenda. We have to discuss the 2021 tax rate. And John, if you want to hand up the cabin, yep. Ray, if you could hand this to Don, to Tony, to Sal, there you go, there. And um, First, I want to thank Sherilyn for working on this, getting this put together for us, and Sasha as well. Um, just we can go over any numbers anyone wants, but the most important, um, obviously, let's look at the municipal tax rate first. Uh, you'll see that we went down nine cents this year uh, on the municipal side. Um, and that was due to the surplus we had, which was a hundred and, if you look up, you'll see the surplus up there. $8,176. Um, and our uh, school tax rate has actually gone up five cents to one seventy-seven. dollars um, So giving us a tax rate this year of two eighteen, dollars uh, and that's down four cents from last year, two twenty-two dollars overall. Um, non residential rate is two twenty-one. dollars uh, pardon me, $214. And that's down seven cents uh, from the previous year. So, are there any questions, concerns with this at all? It's tremendous. Um, Sherilyn, do we have anyone come in today for um, appeal on the grand list at all? No, so it can be set to Sorry, so that was the only the reason in the uh, agenda potentially said it is have we had anyone come in and uh, dispute their uh, grand list figure, we would need to uh, appeal that and we would have had to uh, hold off on this. So, um, unless there's any questions, John or anyone, does anyone have a motion for us here? I will move that uh, we set the tax rate at uh, 41 cents municipal and for a total residential of 2.1865 and total non-resident at 2.1445. Thank you, Kelly. All right, any further discussion on the uh, tax rate calculations? All right, we're all good. Um, all in favor, go aye. 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 All right, thank you, everyone. So you probably have the tax bills all done, is that right, Sherman? I will no more. You will no more. Right. We had so, to wait for these to get set tonight. So very good. So that'll be nice. Uh, we'll get that out and things will start coming back to us. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Um, it's light agenda tonight, so if there's anything uh, you want to bring up, certainly do. We have Philip uh, Woodward, it's, uh, what time is Phil going to be here? 6.50. Hopefully he'll show up a little bit earlier. He's planning on it. Good. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, Sasha, I want to start with you. Any reports, communications for your end? Um, the state came back to David about Robert's Ramble for that road that Carl Wimble wanted to name. Yes. And he needs to add to it. He'd like road added, like lane drive. Okay. Whatever. He'd like to have that done. Um, so someone will reach out to Carl and just ask if he wants lane or road. He does. Carl, David did talk to Carl and he does want road. Okay. Very um, good. I think I forwarded on to everybody that the Valley Recreation District is looking to fill Eric Kittrin's position. So if you guys had any ideas on that. 
So on that, we should probably um, put that out on our portal. Uh, and anyone, if anyone has any friends, foe, or yourselves are interested in it. What was that for saying? What was it again? It's for the Mad River Park District. It's to re um, replace Eric. Okay. The matter of a park here where the soccer fields are. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. We. Um, how is our membership in that? We have like a. I don't know. We don't have a voting share, but we get to participate in some of it. I don't know how often do they meet. They don't meet all that often, like on a quarterly basis or something. Um, there is a gentleman. He's going to. I told him to reach out. I, his name escapes me, but I was up to Eric's. He had the state sale there, and he had said he was interested in doing it. So um, I told him to reach out to you, Sasha. So hopefully, we'll have at least one person for that, and maybe more. Um, there's a curb cut in the binder for approval. Martin's already gone there. And I got a hold of somebody about the town service officer, and I forwarded it to everybody. Just so you're all right, did everyone give an opportunity to read that email or, or such? I we, missed it. What's that? I missed it. Um, if within the next couple of weeks, if we could take a look at that and see if that's, I think the question is, is that something we need to have? And it's an appointment. So I don't know if it's something we want to take away, but why don't we just take a look at that and see if we want to. Well, but basically, if I remember reading it, what they were saying is that how they really, no one really has a service officer anymore. Right. Exactly. It's the, 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 the role is filled by the, what was it, the VLCT or no, or the state or something. Yeah, one of the that. other yeah. roles that we play. But we'll let Ray take a look. He's strong in those type of issues. So make sure he gets an opportunity to read it. But yeah, it's probably something that we uh, don't need to worry about. And the last thing I have is the email I forwarded from John Burns about using the town hall for a training in August. Yeah, for window uh, infills. Window infills. Yeah, fills. and he's yeah. wanting to have the fee waived, if he could, and I'd like to have some specifics on the insurance and if there's any cleaning type of stuff you want done. Well, certainly I would be fine with the fee being um, waived. At just ask them to clean it. And again, we come back to the insurance issue where they're required or is it something that we're putting on or, or sponsoring? Is that how that works? And then we can cover it that way? If it's not a town function, then they need to carry their own liability insurance. Right. Mm -hmm. But he's working with Derek Tory too. He has the energy, energy yeah, to yeah. do it. So that would. <clears throat> I wonder if I could fall under, just as a reminder, um, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, at the town, it's been at the other three libraries, town halls, or whatever. Um, Efficiency Vermont, which I would strongly suggest you all have to go at some point between two and six, which is when the libraries open. There'll be that guy, Brad um, uh, Long, is his last mm -hmm. name. Yeah. He's going to be there, and you, you know, if you had a question, specific question about your house, or they'll tell you about programs that are available for the homeowner. This is more for the homeowner than what I did, walk, the walkthroughs and such, which is for the municipalities. But in any event, maybe it, to that, maybe this is kind of similar to that. Yes. You know, I think that's a good idea. Um, I mean, you know. So. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's try to figure out how we can make this work, Sasha, without breaking any rules or, or laws here with VLCT. But uh, if we can incorporate it into a library function or have the library open during the time, something like that, I think we should be able to um, to do that. We pay enough of that insurance, and, and it is a town benefit that we're trying to, to get here right and, and it is I mean we, we, I think we miss out on some of these things because because of that and unfortunately we've looked into it several times and, and it is what it is but you now we need to start being more creative I think 
So is everyone set? Is good with that? Yep. yep. Fine. What was the day again, Sasha? August 3rd. August 3rd. That falls on a library day. It's a special library day. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, that's a Wednesday. No, it's a Tuesday. August 30th? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. That might work out. Yeah. Right. Very good. Good discussion. Uh, anything else, Sasha? No. No good, right? What about yourself? <clears throat> Get rid of the old business in about two minutes, anyway. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. But go ahead, uh, Callie. Anything new yourself? Anything that's reported out to you? Anything? John? No, nothing for me. Jeez. Um, I guess I really haven't for anything reports, announcements, or anything like that. So um, why don't we approve the minutes? From... Can I? Oh. I have an announcement. You do. All right. Um, I'm sorry, can... Sherilyn. I would... That's okay. We um, were granted the Fletcher Road Bridge Repair um, for $74,700. Um, so the town share is 10%, so we're looking at around $8,300. We do have that in the Bridge and Culver Fund. So um, I just wanted to let you know about that. Will that be put out to bid then? It needs to be put out to bid, so Martin's going to have to work on that. Um, I don't know if you want to approach him with that. Yeah, he's in, I think he's in May. He, he, is, in, he, yeah, he mm -hmm. is on vacation. Oh. Um, but the bid process is something that he usually starts. Yeah. Okay. And then we were also awarded um, grant and aid for 2022 of another 17500 um, And that's all I have for announcement. It's very good, Sherman. Oh, I was in the Beamer's audit. Town more town was randomly selected to be audited this year for Beamers and, and it came back great. So that was good. Audited for what? Beamers, the um, retirement. Oh yeah, right, right. Uh, they randomly select different <coughs> towns every year. Right, I'll just write that down. And you said it was okay. Yes, it. Perfect. It was perfect. perfect. <laughs> Not okay, perfect. That's good to hear. You get many perfect things these days. Um, all right, so let's um, go ahead and approve the, the minutes of uh, July 6th, 2021. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of 7621. Second. Thank you, Kelly. Any discussions, changes uh, that we need to make on those at all? Not ready? Um, all in favor of uh, approving those minutes, please vote aye. 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 Any opposed? No. All right, so now we're ahead of schedule here, 6.15, and we're at old business. Um, Ray, do you have anything for old business for us? Uh, no, uh, just uh, I think the ATB ordinance is a work in progress. But, you know, didn't have any chance to work on it since the last meeting, but... Uh, Something that we'll be working on throughout the year, I think. I haven't heard anything from the state either. Yeah. So I'm going to email them again to figure out for signage what we would actually need. And, and um, Sasha, do we have the lieutenant coming from the state police yep. next? August 17th. August 17th. Yeah, so, that, so be he'll be a good, make sure you have any questions or some leading questions for him. Yeah. At that point, I think that might be a good person to ask. And then any other uh, stuff that you guys know about? I, I heard that Barton, were they revoting or something? I don't know whether there's problems. Or maybe it was Stefan that was saying that. I'll so have to ask him. But if we can just get some, hopefully, some towns that have been doing this, you know, I'm sure there's some good things and some bad things. And if we could learn from them, it would be, be good on that. 
Does does this kind of segue into like our field trip legal trails and then it's sort of in the same kind of well yeah well not not I mean not not really but I mean there is we can talk about the legal trails no no but I mean it because the, as time goes by more and more people are using trails either by motorized vehicles or mountain bikers and stuff you know I think some of the folks up there mentioned about the bikers right. that are going through so so it could I mean I think that is something like, it's a big topic for sure yeah you know, but, and I think as we develop if you develop something almost the other things have to have either a, an either or type with it I mean because you just can't now all of a sudden have rules for one side of the town and not for the other right. and, right. and so how would but, but what we're going to be doing with the legal trails from that walkthrough is set up a uh, where we're going to have it funded every year to do survey work. On, on I think that's trails. something that as we go into budgets, I think we need to talk about that. Uh, I just actually, Sasha and I talked about this today. Um, um, Cheryl's been busy, but she's going to look, as we mentioned, uh, and start to get that information and just what we need to see where we're at. But I think we need to kind of look at that when we have the trail on the other side of town. Um, uh, tra Blodgett Trail, I'm going to call it for lack of a better word. He doesn't like that. But uh, we get those two cleaned up this year. And then I think we should start looking at them. Uh, uh, you know, I, mean, I don't know how we would decide which ones to look at, but uh, we need to start identifying these trails that are lost if you will not, or maybe the next one might be the one over to your, to your uh to jeff's right but, you know yeah. that one's kind of like the same thing we're remembering the gravel i'm not sure exactly where it is but what were those i'm just saying what were those folks the main concern of the folks up at the top of freeman hill there was where it was go, where it's going is that the uh, yeah i was, I was just a little confused because the road stops before you go into where the trees were we first met. Is that the town stops there? Yeah, the right. Kind of driving. where we parked where that yeah. mailbox is. That's where my understanding is where. And then you kind of, when we walked and then we went to the left and veered off. And then remember when we got to the uh, kind of opened up into fields again. Yeah. And then it went either up this way or straight ahead. Right. That's where I think the question lies. I still don't understand the the real big question behind the whole thing because it still ends in the same place. Uh -huh. They're still or on the same person's pieces of land, Mary uh, Murphy. Murphy. Mary Murphy's land. It, it ends on her, whether you go straight or whether you go this way. And I couldn't really get from them what's the dispute here. Is it just this this turn or you? But someone bought the land that's to the left. To the left. Yeah, there. as we were going. Yeah. So I'm not sure yeah. whether you know what they're trying, what the, the, yeah. the whole purpose is there. That's why I want. I think this one might be one where we may be able to get some of the knowledge, and hopefully Cheryl, Cheryl has that of why that was changed or what those emails yeah. meant back there. And, was 05 and then there was in 15 there was something as well um, yeah. so until we clear that up but there wasn't where we had on the other side of town there was a huge dispute as, as far as access in, in and out here there doesn't seem to be any real disputes between neighbors they just want that last hundred feet figured out uh, or a couple hundred feet or whatever it is but there didn't seem to be any you know, that I could tell, but you know, people aren't, they don't always tell you these things either, you know, because they don't, uh, for whatever reason. So we're looking into that, but it makes sense to any of these. And I think that, you know, this one uh, that Jeff has, or Jeff's road would be good because there's questions there and it's something that's used. But if anyone has other roads or, or hears from other people that there's, Trails, John. You may know some that people have asked mm -hmm. about, or Don. You get around to. Um, you know, we can start putting things to list together and where we might want to figure them out. And then, okay. personally, if we can figure out how much it's going to 
cost us, but probably if we, I don't even want to get into that, but it would probably be five grand or so per, depending on what it is, but it would be worth it, I think. All right, Randy. I have another question. Uh, yep. Um, I don't see, uh, there was talk about the, the dog issue there last week, and I didn't see it here on old business. I wonder where we stand on that. Whether we're getting a legal. We haven't yet. Right. It's, it's still being talked about. With the uh, farm stores. Farm yeah, gotcha. between Stephen, um, I re sent him an email from Ron Jones, kind of giving a little light to it a while ago, but not really giving a stance. I'll follow up with Stefan. That's something I haven't done on that, just to see where that that is. I haven't heard anything about the dog either, but we still, just because we haven't heard anything, we need to continue to pursue right. it. He did have to get them this weekend. Oh, he did. So, yeah. He did have to what? I guess he got them this weekend. Yeah. Okay. Not them what? I'm assuming. He needed to pick them up. Oh. So, there was Stefan then? Okay, now I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> It's not I mean, it's like maybe some yeah. peace coming. Here. Well, that, I mean, that's good. Yeah, I guess. It's getting pieced off. Well, you, like, you like the dogs. <laughs> yeah. So maybe there is some peace there. I don't know. I, I, just as long as I'd love to see the dogs, just, as long as the dogs are treated well and taken care of and safe somewhere. And that's what I want to see done. Um, and his fines are stacking up still. Yeah, well, that we can. So anyways, well, I'll meet Stefan or talk with him tomorrow and make sure that he's moving forward on this or finding peace one or the other or getting new dogs. Ray, what else? That's it. Don, you had some things for us tonight. Um, a real quick one is that I went and saw the uh, remote owl's nest. I think it's an owl's nest. Did I say it's an owl's nest? I think it's an owl's nest. At the Waitsfield Town offices during the day. I wasn't at one of their meetings, but it's um, really interesting and they're happy to do a demonstration. I mean, for us, any, any, for any, any all of us or one of us or however we decide to do it. Um, we just have to organize it with Ann, the, uh, the uh, administrative or town. Uh, uh, and um, but I mean it's as I described and you know, the way it sits on the table it's about this high, and it just when you t when I talk the, there's a cam you know there's a series of cameras in this little round tube about this high, it's not even about as high as that Gatorade bottle or something maybe a little higher, and then if someone speaks in the in the room, it'll pick that person mm -hmm. up, and then you have a monitor you know like maybe even your high school. Uh, progressing, yeah, <laughs> you know, it could be one, and then <clears throat> there's also another computer which you know, uh, that would be the, the someone would zoom in on as well. I'm not quite sure how those you know get tied in together, but yeah, um, so that we can see the person who might be calling in and they can see yeah. us, yeah. I would think that, would, um, whatever, I think we would need a couple of things, but uh. Well, one is going to look at. Yeah, would be probably a good idea. I think everybody, you know. And even if you don't, if we can't get it organized, it sounds like they're nice and friendly over there. So if you were to stop in and just ask them. Oh yeah, they just walk. Yeah, they're walking upstairs and show it to you. Absolutely. Um, JB is doing some work, and that's right. I think Don that's who I talked to. Was JB, and, so, and actually David Speck was there. The two of them were there. I went, oh, hello. Well, and there is one other girl, I think it was Warren that's using it, I read in the Valley Reporter. Yeah, they have one too, and yeah. Faison does now too as well. So, yeah. too. And, and it works quite well, so. Yeah. Um, you know, my, maybe what we could do, Sasha, uh, is why don't you start pricing, you know, we need to get a few prices for these things. Um, you could even check with the you know, I would check with the people that have them on it, where'd you get it, and where'd you pay for it, and start with there, that might be the easiest. Um, so we have some comparisons, and it's probably all very similar. And then next meeting, um, you know, we'll try to make a decision on that. And I thought it was recommended, uh, and it seems obvious we would use some of that um, recovery money that we have. And 
I forgot I told you last time how much it was. It was 140000 roughly? Yeah, I don't remember right off the top of my head. Yeah, I think it was more than 47000 Yeah, well, so something like that. So we could probably afford to get one of those if it's something that's going to work and something that people feel uh, there's value to us. I know um, the Planning Commission has already expressed their um, uh, interest, more than interest in doing it. So, you know, unless it's a real jalopy and everyone over there is telling us a story because Misery loves company and they want us to join no, no, in. No, no, they were, they, they all spoke really highly of it. Uh, so right. it's called an owl communication? Owl's nest, I believe, is yeah. what I owl's said originally. Yeah. yeah. To look at online. Yeah, yeah you I'm can sure easily you can see that online. Yeah. YouTube or something like that. It's going to be. Um, <clears throat> That's Alice. It's like a uh, meeting. Just type in Alice meeting and like come right up. Alice. I think it's what because it could. Yeah. Oh, it does come right up. Yeah, yeah. we've already looked into them. Oh. All right, so that so, you go for um, Well, Ray, I know you've been away, but you haven't had a chance to talk to the anybody from the state about the some of 100B that's already starting to crumble. I have not only I sent that one email, which I never got a reply from. Yeah, and, I wanted uh, to say to Christmas the other day, but here in Middlesex. Yeah. But you have to be there either at seven or three. To meet, you know, that's when they said the four. You know, the, the super. I will try to reach out to Chris Hunt this week. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's it's just a shame, you know? Well, I, I agree. You know? Mm -hmm. It's a shame. Um, well, then the town, we have, um, it's even in our old, so it's, we're doing a little of old business, right? So yep. The town garage, um, I don't know how, we, how should we work on spearheading that? I mean, following up on the efficiency for months. Right. So, uh, do you guys need help uh, for someone to reach out to those contractors or the one? No, I didn't. I didn't know what Ray was. No, 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 no. That's, you know, that's good. I know. Yeah. I understand, Don. I just yeah. why I'm asking. I want to make sure everyone's. Is yeah. that something we gotta do? Do you want Don to reach out to those guys? Right? I mean, I'm, or if we can team up. I don't know. Well, if I you know I'll some of those subs. I didn't. I haven't really looked at it. Really I just. Closely. I think we just need to get a, a clear scope of work, what we're looking for, and then. Uh, we could shoot it off to several contractors, so maybe yeah. Oh, well, there you go. We could meet there and sort of write up a little description yeah. and then send it off. But I think you got the the, the I said sounds, but the contractors that are listed on the in Paul's letter. I think those are the ones right. that are the efficiency so, Vermont tied in okay, so guys or something. Maybe just yeah. a matter of getting uh, a real clear yeah. scope of work out to them, and maybe yeah. that's. If you want to do something, send it, if you want to try to do that and send it over to me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, I can work on I can, that. Sure. I can do that. Or we can meet it in the garage or something yeah. if you want. Well, I think, I think he actually was, um, it was a fairly decent writing of what you yeah. did anyways. It's basically use what he's yeah, got. Yeah, he's, he's got to write. send it out to yeah. those guys. It's okay. cut and paste and say, all right, guys, we need... Yeah. Whether they yeah, need to come here, down here and right. take a look at it, you know? Yep. That, that sounds okay to me. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So why don't we do that and get that? I'd like to get three, was there three contractors? I can't remember. I'd like to get more than one price. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, there's three or four of them there. Yeah, he did this a bunch of them. <clears throat> okay. So if we yeah. get them all, because that money needs to be spent by this fall. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. by the end, yeah, by this year. Or this year, year <laughs> whatever. Yeah, so we really, and everybody's so busy. So let's, so let's really crank it out. Going. Yeah. Okay. All right, good. So that was cool. All right. Well, I'll be in. I'll work with you. Yeah, I'm a, so. I should be around. Yeah. Well, I, well I'm, like I said, I'll be in Maine, but I'll have my computer and stuff, so it's fine. Yeah. Very good. I'm going, you know, I'm doing what you did. This yeah. Way. But you're bringing your computer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I was, I'm toying with whatever, but it's right here anyways. You know? That's the bad thing about those right. things. I know. It's I too. All right, um, okay, so... Um, the town hall. Uh, so we met with you guys, and you know, whenever that was, end of May or something. Then we had a town hall meeting June seventh, um, and then at that meeting, you know, we looked at the what we had our task ahead of us, and one of the things was that we had met with the this guy Alex from Preservation Trust, who. Um, came and met us there and told us that they had 
they would um, help fund a life safety ADA study of the building. So at that town hall, so, so that they would give $500. So then there was a gentleman in Waitsfield who does this, Bill Gow. So we got in touch with him and now we're into June. And anyway, so sometime, I forget, was the June 18th or something, we met with him um, and to look at the building and we didn't, weren't quite clear about what his fees were going to be. So that's why I didn't get to tell this about two at the last meeting. So in any event, we brought him on board so that because we can't really do any of the design vignettes or the things that we presented to you guys at that meeting without knowing what we can first do with life safety and ADA vis-a-vis -vis the stage and, and such. So we brought this guy Bill Gallup in because he only had this short window. So the Preservation Trust, trust his bill is $1,200. We get five hundred dollars from Preservation Trust. We went ahead with it. The, the committee went ahead with saying, "Well, we have a the a, Corey was able to get a grant from the American Libraries of, of you know the Libraries of America, and in there we have a design you know money for design work. That design work is for." when we try to do these little boards or, you know, have, we're trying to have stuff ready for more fest, you know. So um, that's why we ended up bringing Bill Gallup in because his window was, was still waiting for his report, which was supposed to have by the end of July. Then we hopefully have Elgar who's going to help us do some drawings in August. And before you know it, it'll be September. So that being said, we can either pay for it out of the grant that we got from the American libraries, or perhaps this board could consider paying for that study out of, you know, town funds, you know, of $700. But right now, that's where we are. We're waiting for that report, and then once we have that report, the committee will, we, have, we were going to meet on 7-7, but we didn't because um, that was our last meeting that I had sent in. But we didn't have that meeting because we were waiting for Bill Gallup. Do you know how much so, um, their grant is? It's year? about 30, <coughs> I think 3,300 or something like that that she, um, they were able to get. And did, have you guys looked at She has a whole breakdown, you know, we have a whole breakdown of stuff that we're going to do with it. Right, and that didn't include the 700. Well, it included design work. Right. It, you know, it didn't really include that, but we also carry money in that for some tents or something. So, you know, I mean. So where, do, um, Sherilyn, where do we stand on our, we have a budget today, how are we looking on it? The budget was, the, the funds that were put in there were to finish off the windows. And the windows, remember, they ended up being more. Right. So we're still already gonna be over, over the, over its time. Right. Overall, let's see where we are. Let's where are we right now? Not necessarily even in the library. I'm just trying to find some other money, actually, for that. 700 bucks. Um, because if we're going to go for or at least get be serious about this, like the ADA stuff needs to be done. So we should probably... We also need to keep in mind, too, um, any work that's done needs to be approved by the, for the windows, too, because that's part of the grant. Oh, yeah, no, but this is not any kind of physical work that's going to be done at this point. This is oh, just... Oh, no, this is... This, just, no, there's no work being done until everybody's on board and the whole time. Right, this is just a... <laughs> this is so we can... Study to see what... Right, so we can do our... Keep going with, the, with some of the proposals that we're going to get out there. Looking where like you know, it like this. Says she can be looking at it while she's running up the hill. <laughs> that, that's what those little posts. No, we're going to keep it up for a while. You know, we're thinking that you'll go into the town hall and there'll be boards that you'll see some drawings. We've <laughs> also marked down on the floor, as we talked about. You know? Yeah, well, that's, mm -hmm. I like that idea. Yeah. Visuals are Visuals are good. And bigger visuals. 
Yeah, bigger, bigger. Can we open it all, Tom? You can stuff it somewhere. So why don't we just go ahead and, and I don't know what everyone else feels around the board. I think we should do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah. So why don't we go ahead and we'll find it. I think. So we'll expend five hundred pounds. Also, it shows where it actually yeah, was spent. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So actually, uh, there'll be spread, uh, Alex from Preservation Trust will, I just have to send him an email and he's going to send the 500 to the town. So we'll just be here. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. That's yeah. He's <laughs> got $100, right? 100 bucks. That's the way to work. All yeah. right. Um, no, and that's all. I mean, the only thing is, is John and I, I mean, we got to maybe <clears throat> hook up for the, the trees, which, we, you know, it's been raining and this and that. And, you yeah. know, somehow the days slip by, as you know. And then also, um, are we going to regroup with uh, Joyce, do you think, at some point? Uh, well, uh, with all those emails that we Yeah. Got, you know? Well, let's see. I guess where it is now is where, aren't we waiting to hear back from Ken? On that? Or no, John. John with the state? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, on the, on the, um, on the crosswalks and everything here. Well, I yeah, thought, no, about the, the, uh, the trap, the slowdown stuff that we were thinking. All, all that stuff, yeah. right? but some of it is with the, uh, the crosswalks. Yeah, Ken Ruby and um, Chris Hunt were talking with someone, right, so that's okay. still on hold right now. Okay. But I guess, yeah, the other, yeah, we better see where Joyce got with that. Yeah. I believe that everything's out there, it's just getting the right people yeah. involved. I wasn't quite sure if they were talking about that to leave these two where they are and then yeah, put another one on by. Yeah, they mentioned two, I thought, at that end. Yeah. One one by Maynard's. Eventually. Eventually. And then one. One at, at this from end. the post office into the store. So near the post office and store. Okay, what, mm, no, we're talking about the signs. Signs, slow down signs. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Well, that almost well, no, 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 over here then. Yeah, the way store. down that way. way. Way up near by the yeah, I think we're just talking about gravel really positioning them as well. Coming in or yeah. Right so they're more effective. Yeah. Rather People than really can fly in there. Right. Right. Yeah. Anyways, well, I'm gonna go. The trouble is, you know, you read these emails and then you know, then there was another one. Well, I know. Um, it, it, you know it gets more. Well, and I was just going like, okay, so what's going on? So we can print them out. Are they all straight? Yeah. Is that it, Don? Um, yeah, yeah. No, well, if you have something to do. Oh, oh, one other thing. I did call the guy back uh, about the Taplin School and left him a yeah. message, oh, yeah, so and I haven't heard anything back. All right, so make sure you keep, continue. So I'll back. try to give him another call this week, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kelly, what you got there? Mm -hmm. Not a shalada. John? Um, I hope this, I know that we talked about the, um, the trees over by the sand pit. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't remember, did we mention anything about the, the uh, sumac and all the other vines and stuff that are growing over the Arbor Whitey? Okay, at the south, I'm sorry, the north end, where we had the, where we planted them, yep. um, Arbor Whitey, they're just being overrun with stuff. So I just give Martin a call and ask him that. I think, that up there. yeah, when you guys do that, or Ray, maybe you can again, it's good that Ray calls and coordinates, but that's okay. when they have a, uh, what do we want to call it, a landscaping day down there, mm -hmm. that might be a thing to do. And there's a lot of uh, is that Japanese knotweed in there, too. Yeah, or is right. that, so there's that's, special way you're supposed to handle all that stuff, right? Well, take certainly the Japanese knotweed. Yeah, supposed to take it up and put it someplace yeah. dry. And, and Martin has taken a course on that, I do know. I think it was a few years ago. It's but quite the process that you have to make some pile and has to stay there. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah, it's and that may be a, uh, anyway, I don't know. I think, speak with Martin and see what's there. Okay, At Martin. least the, the uh, what's the vine or whatever that needs to come down. Uh, I know there's, there's great, great vines. Great vine or whatever and, it is. And then the, um, there's lots of sumac. It's just, and you can barely see the arbor vitae. It's just. <clears throat> I know Martin is in Maine, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we can somehow coordinate feeding the 
it'll probably be have to be the fall now maybe we can feed those trees to that, to that soil from soil tests and they made some recommendations mm -hmm. and we can feed them and then also then we got the wood chips there to put around them. Right. So. But that's more the, the ones in the front. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The ones These the ones on the side. Anything else, John? On the right side going in? Or on, on the, the, the north, north side? Yeah, that would be the right side. there? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it is quite an the road there for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> John? Uh, no, I guess that's it. All right, so um, just to point out all the business, we, we've got the AT ordinance you guys are working on, the town of Orange. Nemrick, now we have uh, Bill McGill coming in, I believe it's our next meeting. He is uh, looking at that Lister job, but also I think at that point we'll also discuss, um, it's certainly nice to have another Lister on board, but we've had a lot of work done with Nemrick and to keep consistency and to make sure that we're uh, getting that stuff done correctly into the, uh, it's, and it's really not a layman's job anymore. We may want to consider doing a, a little bit more of that stuff with Nemrick, um, but we'll have that information for you. And it's kind of the stuff that Mike had talked to us about and uh, kind of recommended that we go in that direction. So we'll have that. Um, the zoning and DRB fees. We can take a look at that. Uh, if everyone remembers, the one question we had is whether David Speck had uh, uh, consulted with John, and I had thought he had, but he had consulted with him on some of the ordinances, not on the fees. Uh, John did take a look and said that he was, was fine with the fees. He questioned uh, how they compared to neighboring towns, and I know that's how David worked those fees. He was. Uh, using neighboring towns, so um, I think unless anyone has any questions or concerns about that, I think we could go ahead and approve those fees as uh, David had given them to us last meeting. I just wonder about raising them if we're looking at neighboring towns. Waysfield and Warren are also larger towns with a lot more. Warren has the ski area. There's a lot more second homes. There, right. so they have more right. coming in, yeah. and I know it's right. You brought up keeping the commercial yeah. ones where we put them, but keeping the residential where they were. Yeah, I think that's what we decided. That's what we decided. That's what we decided. So, that yeah. that that's where we still are. Yeah, yeah. you know what? Seems like I don't have them in front of me. One of them. Like that, right here. Thank you, Don. Um, so the fees that we had looked at. We had added uh, a subdivision, and it was uh, 150 per lot. If you remember, that was um, how did that work on that one? There was a wasn't this that we added 150 to it? It wasn't. If there's a subdivision plan already out there, and add, add one, one another lot mm -hmm. to it. Exactly, that's how that should, it doesn't read very well here. Uh, ponds are now a hundred dollars. And again, that was really a decrease because before it was uh, based on uh, gallons or something like that. Um, right. It wasn't consistent. And now we have uh, the DRB uh, board fees is what we had uh, John take a look at. Uh, the conditionally used, non-conforming use residential, 75, we were keeping those at 75. Um, conditionally used, non-conforming use commercial, uh, we're looking at moving it to 150 from 125, and uh, the other one we were going to change was a variance on commercial from 125 to 150. And uh, miscellaneous, we were adding uh, a no known violations as a $25 fee. But apparently, attorneys uh, sometimes check to see if there are any violations on one's property. Almost like a lien, I guess that would be looking at. Um, so that's where we're at on those. Again, I have not a lot of money either way, but I'm willing to answer whatever you guys uh, flavor is. I make a motion we accept those as amended or am I us. Okay. Second on that? Kelly? John? Second. Second. <laughs> Second. John? Any, uh, any further discussion on these, please? 
Okay, all in favor of what I? Aye. 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 Thank you, Donald. Appreciate that. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, so we've got the trails we talked about, service officer. The other thing, actually, I should have, um, I guess this is old business, but one of the uh, announcements I had, I, from, this is from Morefest, I reached out to um, uh, Sean Bartlett, who oversees uh, a lot of the Irving stores, or at least the Moortown General Store and their whole group, and they have agreed to donate uh, money to Roasted Pig. So uh, Eric Howes is going to, to do it, and uh, it'll be about 125, 130 pound pig. And so I'll be able to give that away, as well as the corn from the fire department, so everyone can come and eat. Uh, and we'll have a donation, maybe you know, have some charity that we can give it to, I don't know, maybe the one that you guys work on for the, the people. What is that? Local service needs. Right, local service needs, that might be a good, uh, area for that and that's where we just you know we've done siding for people we've bought a little bit of wood here and there so but anyway so again uh, more towns more fest is coming together i think that was really nice in the more town general store to uh, to donate that um, they said they five to six hundred dollars whatever it costs they, they take care of it um, so that was very generous of them um the other question that came up with more fests was do we need um, um, police or you know like sheriff or anything like that? And I don't know as we Are do. Are we allowed to have beer? At this can we have beer? Yeah, there's a beer tent. You're right, I yeah. remember that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So Lawson's is doing the beer tent. Um, they're checking the IDs. They have the liquor license, um, but it's more our. We don't have any ordinances up that we need one. Um, I don't know. We I don't know. What does everyone think? I think one of the parsons doing it. You know, uh, I'm good with that. No, as far as the sheriff, you mean? Yeah. Well, well, how about if we have our uh, constables there? Yeah, I think that's that's probably fine. I mean, if he if he would attend, that you know, you know, that'd yeah, be good. We'll, we'll reach out to him and ask if he can be there. If there are any problems, I mean, that's what we have the state police down the road for. We just call 911. I mean, it's more fast than what kind of problems can we have? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I hope not. No. Could be any, but anyways, all right. So we'll, uh, we'll go with that, what we have. All right. So that. I was really thank you if you pass on thanking the committee for the hard work they're doing. That'd be great. And yeah, I'm sure. You are helping as well. Oh well, yeah, I just did the, uh, yeah. the pig. I thought that was an opportunity right. for some, but yeah, they're uh, That's putting great. a lot of things together. It'll be fun. In, uh, yeah, well, if you pass that along, I will say thank yeah. you. Tom, give them uh, There's something else for old business that Sean needs to talk about. Sure. Yes. Um, the MRGP grants that apparently there's been some work done on the roads up on the Moortown Common or Moortown Mountain Road. I talked to Ashley Andrews this week, and we still have no software to track any of the funds. So we're going to end up with the same situation that we did last year, with possibly missing some funds that we don't know about that have been expensed. So Robert Turner, I believe, has kind of been put off. But we need to move forward and get something. So, right. so as soon as, once Martin gets back on his vacation, why don't you take a, a morning yep. and you know, see if I can't be involved too. Um, and yeah, that way, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because there's a lot of stuff for those guys to get accomplished and do between now and the fall. Right. I am on a deadline though to get this done as far as getting all the expenses. Yep, now that will be the priority, but we'll just, so make sure there are no problems with it. Thank you. Yes. All right, so why don't we go ahead and move on. Um, we'll skip the new business and uh, Mr. Woodward, I'm assuming this is you. <laughs> All right, so why don't we um, go ahead and uh, what, does anything, have anyone else, does anything, does anybody have anything else before we go into the session? No. All right. So, um, Tom, can you give us a motion here? Okay. <laughs> okay, I will, uh, since uh, premature general public knowledge is clearly placed 
the select board at a substantial disadvantage, I make a motion uh, as per Title I, Section 313, A, 1, F, uh, going to executive session to discuss um, the legal issue uh, stemming from a um, accident on the t town highway. That was a mouthful. Uh, I'll second that. Any further discussion? All in favor, vote aye. 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 And we'll have Mr. Woodward here and the five of us.